Darren in White Pine, North Carolina. See more better with free prescription lenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut the transitions extra active gray with the blue flash mirror for your Oakley 8046 airdrop size 53 color 01 satin black i'm going to take everything out of the original packaging as oakley sends it to me and of course i should back up and say i am an authorized oakley dealer um, at this point i'm not allowed to post individual pictures with prices on my website so do what darren did go to the contact me page of the website email me tell me what model number what size you want by the way this is the oakley cleaning cloth slash carrying bag and I will check on the availability and the price, email you right back. If you really want to be nice, you can include a picture of your prescription and your PD, and I will tell you everything exactly. Again, get off there, get off there. That rubber really grips. This is the Oakley Airdrop. It is, hopefully my camera's good enough to pick this up, model number 8046. It is the 53 eye size in the color 01 satin black. Now this frame comes in four sizes, 51, 53, 55, and 57. This is my best-selling Oakley ophthalmic frame. If you don't know which one to get, this is it. So I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses, one of which says Oakley. And of course you're going to receive all the manufacturer's original packaging. Put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Program this shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 2551. So years from now, should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I will have it programmed into my computer. You will not need to mail me the frame. Once I cut lenses once, that's it. I don't need it again in my hand. So the stylus is going to go up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase whether they are prescription or not. And I do apologize I need to be in touch with someone where there's a lot going on with getting new carpeting in the building and I let the carpet crew in and uh, the landlord has contacted me. Hang on one second while I respond to the landlord's deck. Okay, I'm back. There might be more. My wife's coming up here too to help me <laughs> install a new computer system. She's in IT. And uh, yeah, so Darren, I apologize for the, uh, for the interruptions, but this is... Come on, pop up. 11 o'clock, Saturday, March 14th, in the middle of the coronavirus. Post office closes at 1230. I wanted to make sure I got these out to you today. So that's why I came in in the middle of everything going on. But hey, the show must go on. So that is the shape that I'll be cutting. We're going to move on to the next screen. We're going to add your pupillary distance, which combined is 60 divided by 2 is 30. I'm going to tap the minus button. Till we get to 30, I want to raise the optical center up 2 millimeters to 18. I'm going to mark that on your temporary record card and then update that on your permanent record card. Now your right eye reads minus 1, minus 75 at 100. Let's turn this on for the day. Turn the axis wheel to 100. I've got a 50-50 chance of figuring out which one is the right lens. Quickly, which you didn't see, I'm feeling the lenses. This one feels skinnier than this one. I could be wrong. But I'm put the power drum on minus one rotate the lens hey it's coming in but let's see something check the astigmatism correction minus 175 that is the right lens when you've been doing it this long you can just tell something by the feel you know that is sad when you can touch a lens and guess which prescription it is so let's put three dots on your lenses uno dos tree and that's the right lens. Let's do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right. Spin the axis wheel to 85. The prescription reads minus a quarter, minus 125. Put the power drum on minus a quarter. Rotate until the spherical component of the prescription comes into view first. Check your astigmatism correction. And I'll explain all that later. And I've got this one upside down. Let me go ahead and do this. Because I need to work on the top third of the lens. So the top half at least. Minus a quarter... Minus 150, that is exactly right. Let's put three dots on this lens. And if you guys missed any of this, this is the left lens. And if you guys missed any of that, 
Let me recap. <laughs> I tell you, that joke's for me. I don't care if y'all don't laugh. I'm going to laugh at it. So, this is a block. This is a block on drugs. No, this is a block that's already had the sticker put on there. Let's use these two and grab two stickers. Pull the stickers off the paper. The black side is the sticky side. We're going to stick that onto the first block. Do the same thing for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. The reason why I put the three dots on there, it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly. So I'm going to get everything laid out just so. The blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that and inset inside the orange crosshairs. Always like to make sure the lens is large enough to fit, and it is. I'm going to hit that button. The arm comes down, places the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the, that. We've got the dots on there. Same pupillary distance that has mirrored the right lens. Same optical center height that has mirrored as well. The PDs can be different. The optical center rarely, rarely, if ever, is Usually it's a stroke victim and keep everything else the same. So, now the left lens is blocked. We're going to come down here. This is the edger. This is what costs $40,000. It's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. It, um, it weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, go out and buy one. Put it on your kitchen counter. And then if you're ever quarantined at home with coronavirus, you can cut your own lenses at home. And you will need this guy with the now clean, sterile alcohol washed in between the fingers get the thumbs really well and then the guy with the freshly sterilized thumbs won't have to do it for you but let's wake up the computer did I just touch something after washing my hands okay this is job ID number 2551 or as I like to say installment 2551 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America Spoiler alert, stay tuned for the episode number 330 million. There's going to be a surprise ending. But these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens because there's no need to. But I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'm going to press the sticker on there really firmly, place the magnet into the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Excuse me while I adjust the camera. Hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it is large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the right lens. The old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know where to pro precisely place the bevel for the least amount of edge thickness showing. Of which I will go out on a limb and say you will have none with your prescription in this frame. You heard it here first. So the water in the background you see is there to catch the optical sawdust should this lens ever touch down on the cutting wheel. Come on, touch down, go down, go down, go down. There we go. It's, you know, it's Saturday morning. It didn't expect to work today. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. Polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. Could I do that if they weren't? And it has 100% UVA and UVB protection. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you direct exposure to the sun there in White Pine, North Carolina. Which, by the way, North Carolina used to have a big white pine, well, big furniture producing state. White pine was one of them. I love to grow all sorts of fruits and vegetables, but currants are illegal to grow. There's another plant that's illegal to grow in most states. I think most people are familiar with that plant. Believe it or not, currants, where people make jelly out of little sweet berries, are not allowed because it is a host plant for the white pine beetle. So because of that, I cannot legally grow currants in my yard. Having said that, legally, I might be growing them now. I cannot confirm nor deny the existence of any currants growing in my garden. But that's the kind of thing a policeman could walk through my garden and not know whether there's a legal plant there or not. 
Speaking of police and law enforcement, the polycarbonate lenses are worn by soldiers overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris in their own Oakleys. You have the Transitions Extra Active, which blocks 50 to 70% of the harmful blue light emitted from today's electronic devices. And you have the Blue Flash Anti-Glare. Now, the transitions are on the inside. The mirror coating, the Blue Flash mirror is on the front surface. You have an anti-glare coating on the back surface, so you have full protection on this lens. You compromise nothing with the purchase of this lens. Now, you see the Blue Flash mirror. Now, I'm wearing the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon. I have the Blue Protect Anti-Glare. I just thought I would try that. It has the purple issue. All my other glasses have the Crizal Sapphire that almost looks like that blue flash mirror. The mirrors just look like an anti-reflective coating on steroids. So I'm going to take uh, the lens out of the chuck. That's right, I said chuck. Dry everything off, run my thumbnail around the edge of the lens. And I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner. Push down the nose. It does not want to go in, so I'm going to take it down a tenth of a millimeter. Put it back in. Now it's not going to go down onto the cutting wheel. It's going to go to the wheel in the middle that has the bevel on there. It's going to go one tenth of a millimeter down until it easily pops into the frame. A lot of places who have to get do a lot of pairs of glasses a day will heat up the frame, making it more softer, more pliable. That will make the lens pop in there. But the lens is exerting force on your frame in every direction. And if the lens were too large, it would cause the bottom of the frame to roll outwards, giving you an ugly cosmetic look as well as shortening the life of the frame. Trust me, you want a perfectionist like me who's going to come in on a Saturday morning while, while carpet is being torn up and reinstalled in the doctor's office to, uh, to get these cut and shipped so you can get these as soon as possible. So you want a perfectionist like me who's going to cut every pair that gets shipped worldwide. It's a corny saying, but the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra at the beginning. I just take it down a little bit more. Now the right lens takes a little bit longer to size. Once we get that down, we'll flip it over, cut the left, and that should go in on the first time around. I'm going to open this door with my mind. Ooh, there's some schwarf hanging on there. Come here, you. Into the trash you go. Let's dry the lens off. Tuck it in at the outside corners. Push down the nose. Now it snaps in there easily. Let's do the same thing for the left. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Or today I'm calling it the Darren. Hit the green start button. The door closes, the clamp shuts just like before. The two white styluses are going to go around and trace the inside, or trace the left side of the frame making sure that it is large enough to fit into the left side and then measuring the thickness at every point to know exactly where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing now I could override that but I know I wouldn't need to with this frame and this prescription look at that Darren you got nothing you got no edge thickness there let's go ahead and take this block off pull the sticker off use my hand approved drawing method throw that in there add to my sticker collection we're going to come down here Spin the axis wheel to 100, which corresponds to the astigmatism correction of your right eye. We're going to put it in over that black dot. Read the power, and I am getting minus 1, exactly halfway between 0 and 2 in the red minuses. Your prescription reads minus 1, minus 75 at 100. Minus 1 just means you need four steps of far-sighted correction. You are nearsighted. With your glasses off, you can see everything up close, but you need a full diopter of far-sighted correction. Everything goes in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1. Now, once the image is the correct size, we have to take away the fuzzy edges. You have three quarters of a diopter of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. So you have minus one this way, four steps, another three steps this way, which is a steeper curve. And that's how we line those two curves up to make everything crisp. We're going to turn it to the 100 meridian. Let me just check the second curvature. And we're getting minus 175, one tick mark away from two. Now, the reason why we're at minus 175, you add two like signs together. Let's use 
today's terms. If someone borrowed a dollar from you, then another 75 cents, they would owe you 175. That's where we're at. Now your left eye, you only need one step of farsighted correction, but you need five steps of astigmatism correction. We're going to end up with a combined value of 150. Now these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. So this last number could be anywhere from zero to 180. The interesting thing about your prescription, always analyze these. A straight line is zero to 90 to 180. For the right eye, we're gonna turn that fine tune knob for your astigmatism past 90 to 110 degrees away from the 90 meridian. For the left eye, we're gonna stop just shy of that at 85. So you're five degrees away from the 180 meridian. Your left eye, 10 degrees on your right. So really, you're only five degrees away from Kevin Bacon with your prescription. Now, the Oakley 8046 Airdrop sells no matter what size, 51, 53, 55, 57. The only color that's not available in the 57 is the 03 Gray Shadow, which is one of my best selling frames. I don't know why they don't make it in the larger size for big guys with gray hair. But it sells for $178. The Transitions Extra Active adds $129.99. The Mirror Coating, you can get it in silver, gold, green, blue, red, or pink, adds $69.99 for a total of $377.98 tax-free. The reason why I point that out is that a lot of people on the internet are now having to charge tax. I'm also in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax on medical devices. So I am tax free. Now I'm gonna take your frame. We're gonna tuck the left lens in at the outside corner. Look, there's some schwarf. Let me clean that off. Press down at the nose. Oh, come on you. All right, let's try a different spot. Let's turn it this way. Every lens likes to go in differently. Okay, that's good. Take the block off, pull the sticker away. This does have some sharp corners on there. And it's fighting me, but I'm stubborn. I'm going to fight back. We're going to turn it to the fine tune knob to 85. Put it in over the black dot. Read the power. I am getting minus a quarter. One tick mark away from zero into the red minuses. Let's check that. Second curvature. The five steps of astigmatism correction. And uh, hang on. My, my wife is here. Let me contact her. Let me just call real quickly. Ah, all right. We'll get back to that. Let's check the astigmatism correction. She said she was talking to her mom out in the car. We end up at minus 150, exactly halfway between one and two. Minus 150. Now your PD, you know, they make us wait in the bathroom. I'm gonna make her wait while I'm working. PD of 60, I'm at an optical center height of 18. Let's do this since that one's almost worn off. I'm gonna put the PD stick against one lens on the millimeter side, not the inches. And then when we hold it up to the other lens, we're getting 60 millimeters. That is cut perfectly. Check the optical center height, not to the bottom of the lens, but the middle of the plastic, the bottom of the frame. We're getting 18. Don't worry, I can see that dot if you guys can't. 18. Now this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses with optical acetone that's going to sterilize your frame and lenses. But as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is gonna sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that's higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them, but I'm gonna get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. One, two, in the bottom of the frame being three. I set them down and press down, there is no wobble. Now, I'm part of that 80%, but I too am wearing Oakley's with the pilot temple. It's called that because if you can imagine a World War II fighter pilot wearing a hard helmet in the cockpit can slide these on and off without having to take the helmets on and off. And normally all my glasses will wobble if I set them down on the counter. These pilot temples are almost self-correcting. I don't know how Oakley does it, but it's absolutely amazing. Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to flip this over, press down there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. That neither temple is askew. So, Darren, I send out a selfie request in every package. I'd love to have your selfie. Actually, two of them. One indoors with your clear, one outdoors with these blue. If you ever take selfies, would you occasionally hashtag me at the at symbol, free prescription lenses. That way on Instagram, and you'll go straight to my feed. But uh, let's go ahead and also send out cleaning instructions, not only for your frame and lenses, but for your cleaning cloth, the premium microfiber cloth that I provide, your Oakley cleaning cloth, 
and your case so it too will last you for years but this is what your lenses look like first time around i'm going to go ahead and activate them meaning that i'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light i'm going to as you can see it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for transitions to dark and a little bit longer when you come back inside 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. now this is important everyone pay attention all transition photochromic lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks are exposed to the sun after that they will work for years at maximum performance the only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car now having said that these transitions extra active will get 30 to 50 percent dark behind a windshield now if you have a convertible or a motorcycle all photochromic transition lenses will darken now they're also temperature sensitive meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above but i remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside you're miserable they're miserable nobody works 100 degrees when I mean 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We always work much better when it cools off. Now, when you look out, you can see either gray or brown. You have the, gr the gray here. And again, don't worry. They're going to keep getting darker. Come on, Darren. We talked about that. Don't you remember? Stay with me. But, um, but again, you can choose from silver, gold, green, blue, red, or pink. And these are the... Hello. <laughs> My wife just came in. The, um, we're having fun today at work. Everyone's on my side of the building, but the, um, what was I saying? I think I'm done. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, so if you have any questions, email me. Um, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as free prescription lenses on Twitter as free RX lenses. As I was just alluding to, if you have any questions, go to the contact me page of the website and uh, tell me what Oakley you want soon enough. I'm rebuilding the site and I've been told I can put the Oakleys on there. So that is coming. But until then, just email me and let me know which frame you want, the model number, size, color. And you can see how these are lightening back up as I keep, keep yapping. If you really want to be nice, upload a picture of your prescription in PD and I can give you an exact, exact price and time on how long it's going to take me and what is involved. But uh, Darren in White Pine, North Carolina, thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley 8046 Airdrop with Transitions Extra Active Gray and the Blue Flash Mirror. And now, hopefully, everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.